Hey everyone, Brian Freeman here. Hey, we're out on a lot here in Middleton, Idaho, and today we spent the day actually marking property corners on this lot. This is a lot that we actually have in escrow currently right now, and I want to show you what a record of survey is, and how this helped us mark the corners, and then I also want to show you how we mark the corners, and then I want to actually go and take you and show you an encroachment that we found by marking the corners. So the first thing is, is this record of survey, I want, to sh want you to actually look at this. And this we got from the county recorder's office. And during the negotiation with the seller, they had refused to mark the property corners. So before we said yes, what we did was we went down to the county, we called the county recorder and we got this document to check for a record of survey to see when this thing had been surveyed and if these corners had been marked. And we found that yes, they had been, and they were actually within the last four years. And these pins here, you can see these are marked on these corners. These are found pins that were already had been marked. And then these black ones over here are actually ones that were set. They found some pins, but they were in the wrong spot. So they set new pins and then they recorded this record of survey. And now these, this is on file and actually shows where, the, where these were located and where the new ones are located. And you can see by a legend over here what they are. So this, these are half inch by 24 inch rebar that was set and that they just did here. And then you can also see these other ones were half inch rebar found. So there's a key here. So this is really important. So before you actually uh, agree to get your, to not have your property corners marked if you're buying land, or even if you're buying a home that has a lot of land, make sure you call the county and take that record of survey on file because this, getting a record of survey is more costly than actually getting, just having the, the surveyor come out and maybe mark these pins for you or locate them if they're already there. So you want to make sure that this record survey is done. It's in prior to agreeing to not having the corners marked by the seller if they're refusing to do that. So very, very important to do. So now I want to show you how we actually did this. So the first thing we did was there's actually a, a, an app that we use for hunting that we use in for, if you're outdoors called Onyx Maps. That's one way to do it. Pull up the county GIS mapping to see property lines. And it'll show you, you know, where this bit, where this boundary is out here that we're looking at, this line that runs back here. Okay. So we pulled that up and it wasn't actually perfectly accurate, right? So this, this thing was actually 10 to 15 feet, probably over here, it showed the line. And now, so you're looking at the over, you know, the aerial map, it's not there. So we came, so we put our, we grabbed a, just a simple little metal detector. You can see here. And we got this metal detector going, and we were able to locate the pin over here. And it's got a, you know, well, once you actually come over here, we're going to show you what this looks like. So we're able to come in here, and you can see that this is the rebar that they're talking about, the half inch rebar, and it's got a cap on it. And this was marked. It actually will have the surveyor's name on it, and then the number uh, marked, you know, with for the location marking here. So you can't actually see this, it's kind of, it's kind of, just gotten dirt filled with dirt but what they do is they put this cap on the rebar here and that so it identifies the location and then they'll flag it here and then the cool thing is is that they will actually put this this wire on here this will normally have a flag on it as well there's a lot of farming here that happens in idaho so you end up having this this here where you can actually you're, you get picked this up your metal detector and if it's it's above you know above the ground so if this gets tilled up right when they're farming uh, when they're disking this this will still be here and you can locate that so it's kind of nice to have that so and then we just pick a little short flag here or a stake and then flag it so you can see it this was an existing stake here we just put this in a little bit taller so we can see down there and psych that in a little bit better so but this is this so this is we found it with the initial with the uh, metal detector and then from there we had a starting point so then what we did was you can look at this record of survey and you can see the dimensions. This dimension on this particular line is 238 feet and or 0 0.09 feet. And then this going this way is 279.26 feet. So in this area. So what we did was we then took out a hundred foot tape. I thought I had it on me here, but I don't, but I have a hundred foot tape measure and we take that and we pull that. You can get them much longer. That makes it even easier. And then we mark a hundred feet, Hold another 100, go 200, and then we go 79.26 feet, and then we were able to get that metal detector out, and then we start checking that area again, and we are able to find that other pin here. So we were able to actually able to mark six different pins today. This thing's an L shape, so yeah, we got one, two, three, four, six, six pins 
we were able to successfully mark that it had all been recorded on this record of the survey. So what I want to do now is I want to actually walk over. I want to show you this, the encroachment that we found that was on this, this end of the property from the far end of here. And we're going to look at that and I'll show you why this is just confirming why you want to get your corners marked before you buy your land. So, all right, we're going to head on over there now. All right, so now we're over at the fence line that I was talking about. Now, I actually want to show you on this record survey here in just a second what we're looking at, but this is the corner here that you can see across. This is the, the fence line here, and it's on the property that we just actually marked the corners on. So this is an encroachment on this property, and you wouldn't know that unless you had the corners marked. So we were able to find, you can see this here, this is about two feet over side. Here's that wire again we were looking at on the other one. So you can see here. And then we just put a snake in here. We actually took this up earlier and saw the actual half inch rebar pin down there. So that was that was in there. So that we have this, we can put the stick there to mark it. But what I wanted to show you here is this is the record of survey. And you can see here, this is called the surveyor's narrative. And this tells us right here that they located a corner, which it shows this half inch half inch rebar was located here and that it was off the fence line so you can see they actually show the fence line here and then they show the the actual property line here as well so the property line has the, the dotted lines and the fence lines a straight line that goes across so you can see that's actually over here on the legend it'll tell you that but so they're saying that this particular pin is marked 1.68 feet in on the other side of the fence so that's what we're seeing there, and this would be considered an encroachment on your property. So you want to know this, you know, absolutely before you are purchasing your land, so you can possibly resolve an issue with the neighbor, you know, ahead of time before you actually buy the land. So, okay, and we're going to walk up top here now, and I want to show you we have the exact opposite. The fence is on the wrong side of the line. We actually have the pin on, you know, it's farther onto our property, and I want to show you that. And then there's a couple other things to look at too. All right, so now we've moved up to the northwest corner, and this is the one where we actually have the property. This is the, the pin here, and it's actually 2.75 feet on this side of the fence. So this is actually our property, and this is the neighbor's property, and he's actually got his fence. You know, he could actually come over another 2.75 feet this direction, so the fence is not in sync with the property line, so good to know. So he can actually move his over. We could talk to him about, you know, hey, let's move the fence bottom, let's get it straightened up, and then we could have this exactly where we want it to be. So what we did here to locate this is we knew by looking at this record of survey, there was 128.65 feet from that pin down below. We pulled that dimension up to here with our tape, and we were able to locate this pin with our mount detector again. So coming a little closer, I'm going to show you this actual pin. And this pin, this is, this shows the cap. So this was done by Skinner Land Surveying. That's the company that did it. And this is the identification of the location. So you can see here. So it's just a plastic cap on top of that rebar that we were looking at earlier. So, and then we just put the stake in here to help identify the location. So, okay. So another thing that I'd like to show you is if you can stand here, you can see this is the property line here. Now the neighbor his property line is in, in line with this going this direction, okay, so east to west. And his fence line, you can see out here, is probably, what, 12 feet or so to the post here. And so, and what is here is there's a 56 foot wide easement here. And if you look over there, we pulled the dimension here from our pin to get 56 feet, even though that wasn't marked by a surveyor over here, you get the idea of that, hey, that's 56 feet wide on our easement, and we know that his fence line is actually 12 feet into the easement. So we don't need that space, so not an issue. But good to know, because you ever had to have a wider road that widened, his fence line is going to have to move. So you don't want to make sure, you want to make sure your fence line goes on your property line, so you don't have to do that. So, so another thing to be considered, you know, consider when you're making sure you're marking these corners. So, all right, so to recap, if you are buying land, Make sure you ask the seller to mark the property corners. If you're buying a house, same thing. You want to make sure you know exactly where those corners are at so you can head off any encroachment issues you might have and just know where everything's out of your property. We're going to do another video later. I'm actually going to show you how we have an issue with the setbacks on the structure on this exact same property and you couldn't actually rebuild the house 
that's there in that location. So make sure you get your corners marked so you can make sure you don't have any issues, encroachments, or anything else on your property before you close escrow. So, all right. Hope that was helpful. Have a wonderful rest of your day.